What up, it's your boy T-Bear here with some news and reaction. Y'all probably know what the news and reaction is going to be. Up early, because I'm not I'm up, but early. I'm off today, so I'm taking advantage of the reaction video today. But this one, has got to get out the way real quick. So, yesterday, uh, hip-hop community loss. It took a big loss. Um, if you want to freeze down, really. Sorry, that don't take a freeze on a little bit, if it is. All right, yeah, the hip hop community took a big loss as uh, rapper Nipsey Hussle was uh, shot and killed outside his uh, Los Angeles store this this past Sunday. He was 30 years old. So, according to most of the source, though, uh, Nipsey Hussle um, on two up here was shot in a parking lot outside the store. I'm reading it off the it to make the, to give me details. According to Lieutenant. Uh, LA, LAPD. Uh, he said the police were still piecing together what happened, that they do not have a motive for the shooting, which they are investigating as a homicide. The police believe at least one something split from the scene. Footage from the local station showed multiple police vehicles blocking off a road near a small shopping complex near the intersection of Slauson Avenue, Crenshaw Boulevard. Nipsey was shot outside a marathon closed store, which he opened in 2017. Yeah. Um. I didn't bang with music as heavy I did in live folks, but I did bang with music at, at times though. I remember his first joint he came out with back in 2009, I think, was a hustle. It's called I Had to Look Up the Name Song again, because I just remember it because of the jump, the uh, crisscross jump sample, Hustle in the House. I first heard about him. Now I see them the XSL freshman class. I mean, if all his music though, uh, definitely not his music as much. I didn't follow him as heavy though. But also, from what I'm hearing, he was big in the community. As you see, that was his own story. He, he was all for the black community. He did a lot of everything. He was a positive. He had a most, you know, he was one of the ones that was, uh, you know, had, was like, you know, the type of rapper he was, but he was all about the community though, for real. Um, he lost a lot, and that's like. Another person we lost that was about the community at times. Um, we lost X before he got community like It's sad that um, we losing our brothers before they they're like making a change or they in the version making a change. Like, mm, it's sad. Go. So, uh, my hearts go out to man, especially Lauren London. She lost a good man she had for a while. Cause you know she had her days with different guys, and she had a good one here, and she lost it. And the other, his daughters, his daughter and kids, other kids he had, and his family. Um, I look at this react. I'm about to look at this video from BT in memory uh, in with um, in memory with Nissy Hustle. Looking back at his looking back at him. So what I thought I'd do, we'll check this out. This is easy. That was a news eyes drop, and this is the reaction. Yeah, he's like almost he just a couple weeks shot of his uh birthday. That sucks. Mm. Yeah, he's had her. He was very hundred dollars, man. Hundred dollars for the mixtape, first of its kind. You know exactly right there, Crenshaw. Earlier this mm -hmm. month, man. Yeah. Welcome to the one hundred six mix, man. I'm glad you're he's here, bro. Yeah, thank you for having me. Show. Sure. Come on, man. Now, uh, this is actually. Nipsey six mixtape and you and you decided yeah, to do man, something different with this was that. talking about right before we came back from commercial break man now, now just talk about how you just created this new wave of hustling man and, and, and Jay-Z actually purchased uh, a hefty amount of the mixtape too yeah. so go ahead and break it down for the people mm. yeah nah we, we offered it for free online so anybody that wasn't you know privy to the music they can get hip to it for free but all, everybody that been following me and that you know what I'm saying I developed as a fan leading up to the release we set up a website, IamProudToPay.com, and charged 100 bucks for the hard copy. And uh, we sold out the first day. You know what mm. I mean? Jay-Z reached out. He bought um, a box of 100 that was $100 each, so he sent us like 10 racks. And just, you know, he, he, he voted with his money, and he saluted us with a check. So that was 100 you know, that's, that's definitely 100 Man, How did it feel to hear that, you know, yo, Jay-Z just reached out, and you want to purchase a bundle of the mixtapes? How did that make you feel? I mean, you know, we all know how influential Jay is, so I felt like, you know, for him to, 
go public and, and you know point to what we did. I was big and I was humble by it. I respect him to a different degree. I already I automatically have respect for his legacy. But That's what's up. for him to be at the height he at and acknowledge yeah. what I was doing, you know what I'm saying? I felt like that was A one. That just made me recognize how much of a real dude he was. You know? Right on, man. Salute always say you're wearing a sneak though. Um, like, you definitely proved he so was, much already. Just always felt that he should have been on a place in like the, the movies, like the Straight Outta Compton, and or at least Death for One. In the game, and one thing that me was actually talking about was, you know, just how the music industry is so different now. You got to come up with so many different and creative ways to to push out your music. You know what I mean? So just talk about the importance of that. Just you know, taking over the the, the viral movement and. And, and just having your own fan base and catering to them, because it seemed like when you dropped this, you was you were speaking to your people. Yeah, most definitely. Um, <clears throat> I think that the game is we had we in a transitional period. You know what I'm saying? The game changing. The internet had a lot to do with that. Um, I feel like the labels they still useful, but you know the old business model that they stuck on. I feel like us being artists, that's you know this our generation, this the era we grew up in. Right. We recognize that people just as likely to pop a mixtape in as they are to pop an album in. And actually might be more likely to play the mixtape as they doing their thing. So I just feel like, you know, we gotta create campaigns based around the reality of the world. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the proud to pay after the middleman concept was just about giving our music, catering to our people, skipping the platforms, not worrying about what radio need, not worrying about what the A&R's stress, not worrying about what the label think they need because they 55 stories up you know what I mean go yeah so I think it's just about think about the people think about you know where it actually take place at I'm in the streets you in the streets you know what people listening to so if we if we remove all of these middlemen and remove all these gatekeepers and we just cater directly to the person that's going to experience the product I think we're going to end up with better product you know and that's what Crush all is about it is, man, right there. Now, I know you actually working on your album, too, uh, a Victory Lab, you know what I mean? So I know everybody getting ready for that. Yeah. We definitely wait. You know, yeah. you know the fans has definitely been patiently waiting with you. And, and, and talk to us about not only that one, but also this new label and everything that you got cooking up. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a co-owner of a record label. It's called All Money In, No Money Out. And that's the logo on the top right corner, or top left corner of the mixtape right here. And um, it's myself, Black Sam, Adam, and um, Fats, you know what I'm saying? But basically... You know, we doing everything for my company oh, yeah, now. You know, we're going to drop the first the state, day, yep. official album. It's going to go to retail. Traditionally, like iTunes, Best Buy, all of that. But we also going to do something creative for the Proud to Pay members. And, you know, we're going to go in more into that as we prepare the release. But uh, the first single going to drop top of the year. Look forward to 2014. Yeah. Right on. Now, before I let you go, quick, 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 quick question, man. For those that haven't been to L.A. before, I haven't been to Crenshaw. I know they see you all the time wearing the, the, the apparel. Yeah. Talk to them about where you from, man. What What is it? What's so unique about Crenshaw? What, what's up with you, man? Um, I think Crenshaw, when you talk about L.A., you got a lot of side areas. But L.A., the heart of L.A. is like, you know, the Crenshaw district. You know what I'm saying? And so just by coincidence, that's what we up, you know, Crenshaw and Slauson is, is the intersection where, you know, um, I grew up on 60th Street, but the major streets in that in that area is, is Crenshaw and Slauson, they're like the main intersection. So the culture of Crenshaw, how worldwide that street is, how much publicity it got, you know, that's our lifestyle. That's, that's where we grew up, that's where we rode bikes at, that's where we bought our first cars at, that's where we got pulled over by the police at, that's where we hustled at. The parking lot where my stores at actually was all vacant buildings and it was a run down area all the young kids used to hang out and hustle with and now you know what I'm saying my brother Black Sam turned it into an operation I brought you some fresh off oh yeah too. good looking man yeah, yeah for that, sure that's for you but um yeah. you know it's, it's a streetwear line now we got a couple other businesses in the parking lot and um it's just like the heart of the city it's the post of the, of the, of the, of the what the world know LA for there it is. Enough said. Nip, like, man. man. Look, I appreciate you, homie. Thank you. Every slap, time. though. Money. You know what I mean? Yeah, you definitely man. gotta get back faster. You know what I mean? We we ain't gonna leave no more months and gaps, man. We gotta have nah, you back some more. Maybe hit the stage if you come back too. Show. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. I think on roll shit. Rolls do the shit too. Like as well too. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna do one more video. Then is I know this is my you know, longer than my usual. Um. Um, which pretty much the slow that we react, react to is uh, passing though, so go back one more. Hey, I um, we got one more go, dude. That was it. Yeah, one more. Yeah, I might that video I just showed, uh, might I might watch it later today in honor of him though. This is crazy. I just released three days before his, his passing, so like I said, I'm hurting for uh, Lauren though on this one. I know she gotta be hurt, but here it is from Ace I'm um, so let me react to the um, the death of Nipsey Hussle. Mm. I 
know he hurt. It's fucked up, man. I just want to send prayers out to Nipsey Hussle and his family, to Lord Lund and her family. This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up. Sorry, this is loud as I can get. Prayers out to the whole family, man. This shit got to stop, man. They just that. touched that boy, man. They just bad. They just bad, that boy Nixon, man. You know what's crazy? Because uh, I was just about to um, get off this PJ and go to the PJs. I was about to go straight to the projects, but that's a sign, man. Don't even do it yet. I'm going to go to... Uh, Shit real in the community. Crazy. It's crazy how the streets don't love a nigga, but we still be loving the streets and shit. Just if you could share some moments on, uh, some words on Dipsy. Yeah, that was tough. Um, obviously, it surprised a lot of people. <coughs> um, I got to know him last year, had a great conversation um, about you know, who he was as a person, what he what he stood for, what his message was, how he tried to inspire people, <clears throat> considering when you're where, you, where you grew up and, and how he turned that into something extremely powerful um, and represented the entire city. So definitely a sad, sad, tragic event. Um, obviously, sent prayers to his family, his community, um, to law in London. It's, you know, hopefully they uh, stay strong through this. It's tough. Um, you know, senseless crimes that don't need to happen, especially with a guy that's was doing what he was doing. So yeah, exactly. definitely tough. It's one of those before the game. You try to just you know, pay your respects the best you can. Um, you know, send the love down there to his family. No All right, let me hold up for a bit before I say that. But um. Sorry I had time and um, my video was freezing. I know it's the encoder error keep coming up on my own um, astral program I'm using, so sorry I had time is freezing a lot. What's up man? They're trying to They're trying to make this shit gang related. They're mad at the reporters. The reporters are talking about it was gang related. We know it was deeper than that, man. Everybody out here know it was deeper than just gang shit. Mm. Oh. I did this for you. Hermes, I love you forever. Mm. You're gonna always remain relevant mm. to me. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Right there, you I mean, doing like that. You guys know, get close friends, child friends, yeah, it's when I hit home, that hurts. Damn, wow, that's sad right there. People will think, oh, she has every right now. If they close like that, that's how it will hit you. Oh, uh, champagne, poppy, Drake, Drizzy, fuck, fuck, my whole energy just low, uh, low right now. Here in this, we just linked for the first time in years and said we were going to do new songs this summer because it had been too long. You were having the best run. I was so happy watching for this. Is nobody ever took down on you? Name you or name sorry to took down on your name. You were a real one to your people and to the rest of us. I'm only doing this here because I wanted the world to know I saw you as a man. I respect you as a don. Rush, rest in easy, my dream. Alright, sorry if it's freezing right now. I figure I, I still try to get me figured out things to sell when you see new suits. I right, read me. I need to get a new uh, so, uh, software to use for uh, my reactions. This doesn't make any sense. My spirit is shaken by this. Dear God, my may his spirit rest in peace. May you, you grant divine comfort to all his loved ones. I'm sorry that happened to you. Mm. All set, black man, luxury, a positive kill. This is a shame to our culture. That's for that is sad. Michael B. Joy just spoke to you, always kept the hundred, always real. You were a rest. Me, Mel, always drown myself in tears for you, my nigga. Yeah, they supposed to have a mixtape, they're supposed to have a, a drown album together. I know they killed me, 
in the hood, but I just come keep on coming through. So with the graveyard throwing a party for all the real niggas. Wrote me we finally we were we really fighting to for our lives against our kind and we had to take risks and match the level of hatred we are born in. I'm tired. Prayers for my brother and his family. Yeah, that's crazy. Um King, my well, LeBron, hold up, just spoke with you the other day on a text, bro. Hold up, tell you, let me go back. Got the my boy LeBron, tell you how proud I was and how I was going to get you to more Lakers game next season. Man, stand up, dude, for day one. May you rest in peace. This one hurts big time. Nice, that's big up for the King James. Nah, so yeah, this is I got here. Nah, 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 what I'm saying. We are, we are are at a great loss today this hurt straight to the point it's dangerous to be an MC danger to be a B polar it's dangerous to have money it's dangerous to be a black man so much hatred we like we live like our brothers and sisters in a third world country right in America decision we make about our own life be based on decisions because we might not live it's so deep rooted it's not an easy fix hard to fix anything when kids are still living in poverty I ain't shutting up though Nipsey is a true voice. He will never be silenced. He still is a stand-up general for the people who never left his people. He lo he is loved by the people. A prayer for his family. Let like keep push the truth for. Mm. Boosie, CIP, real one. I was doing. I was going to Medusa tonight and fuck with. Q QC, I'm staying at home, bro. Um, yeah. Now, last one for real. You were about something positive and for your community in every chance you had to speak. And because of that, you inspire millions. Millions who will uphold legacy forever. Rest amongst the stars. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. RIP, um, Nipsey Hussle, man. Thanks for everything you done for the community and mostly music. Like I said, I'm, I knew you mostly music. You know, bangers as heavy as a, as mothers, but I still knew about your music. I still played it when played it at times when DJs when as DJ people requested it, hopped it on. I had no problem throwing on Nipsey Hussle song because I know he he always um, was that dude. But yeah, I, I heard I heard I've heard about it, but I'm hearing about it more now. Crazy I hear about it more now. That's definitely how big it was community. I've heard it through it at times though, but not as big he was though. And despite people were going in with this the little nonsense of oh you gotta take my spirit on that shit. And I'm not even gonna get into that. But RIP Nipsey Upsom. If you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe on your channel. It's your boy T Bird signing off. One love. <clears throat>